My name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. And we're the Yahoo and the Tour YouTube channel. And hey. Nicole's right here too. We were gonna do our intro. Hold on, Nicole. I'm Nicole. There you go. All right. Okay. And we're Yahoo and the Torah, and today is a Shabbat. Today is the day we are supposed to be resting. We are supposed to be reading our Bibles and spending the day with Yah. It is a day that was set apart, that was sanctified by Yah. He said, you're going to keep this day Kodesh. It's something you're supposed to be remembered. And today we are going to do a, another of the Torah. We are going to go over it. We're going to go over Exodus 30 today. And for a little bit of people that have not been around for the last few chapters, we have Moses, and he is getting instructions on building the ark and the altar and the and the tabernacle itself. So we are continuing on with that. And there's been no commands as of recent, but we have about 49, and we are continuing on. Yeah, and this is kind of a, a special edition one because the ones, the, the previous, the entire week, we were pre-recording the day before. And so it was a little weird, even on preparation day, because we really like to talk to you guys on preparation day and cheer everybody on as you guys are heading into the Sabbath and heading into the day that our Creator has set apart as a day that not only is set apart, but is blessed. And I will tell you firsthand that blessings do come from the hand of our Creator. And let me explain a little bit more, because I sent out a picture this week of an empty fridge. And um, the the entire point of the empty fridge has has nothing to do with, you know, poor boss clan where we have no food, we have no nothing, none of, none of this, right? Because I believe without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, that if we work to call out to our creator to rain manna down, that he would rain manna down for us, that he would make stakes out of rocks or whatever it is. And I sent out another picture this morning and there were a lot of you guys that reached out to us and we really, 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 really appreciate it. And we will never, ever, ever take donations. And that's just one thing that we will not take donations. The word of Yah is to be told. It is never to be sold. And I've seen an entire lifetime of everybody from the 501c3 churches that pass their plate and they have a really good lesson and, and everybody's all moved and they get the piano in there and they get the organ in there and they break the plate out and they pass that sucker back and forth. And by the time they're done, that entire thing is completely full. And, um, you know, we're... It's not, this is not what it is about. Our creator is is completely in love with his creations, right? As long as we are in love with him. And Eli, how would we be in love with our creator? By doing what he has told us to do. By following his Torah and loving him. Do, do your parents, Eli, do they get mad at you or are they okay when you disobey them? Uh, they get mad. How mad? Uh, quite angry. Quite angry, right? It's, it's not a good. It's not a good thing, right? And it is something that, um, you know, as as kids and parents, we have that relationship the same way that our Creator and we. It is our essential, our parent, our Creator, our designer, um, and it's not a bad designer. It is a beautiful designer. He has created us in a very unique fashion. Our, uh, you know, every single day, I could probably sit and tell you guys how amazed I am at the functions of the things that our creator has has made. All right, so let's get going here. Um, before we get going, how's your week, everyone? Uh, good, good. good. Any, any, any life lessons from this week? Anything you, you have learned? Anything you'd like to pass on to the world? Stuff that doesn't do? What did you work on this week, Eli? Uh, we did some fencing. We saved some flour. A lot of flour. We have all of our flour. We have a lot of flour, but it all the bugs have inundated our flour. And some flour is beyond fixable. And that flour has turned into dog food, thank our creator, because we, we were struggling to figure out how we we're going to have dog food. And all of a sudden, our creator said, hey, all that food we thought was for you, it's now for the dogs. And so um, our creator, again, provides in, in many, many, many different ways. Jade, what uh, what life lessons, what what did you do this week, how how to go, anything What's what's happening? Uh, basically, just fencing off a uh, part of the part of our garden to keep the cows out. Cows broke in, took out our corn, ate some of it our out. own corn, a little bit, stomped on it. it. wasn't too bad, but you had to fence it. Right. Um. I don't know if I had any life lessons. I mean, we did a lot of problems life life lessons. But cow got stuck in the river. You couldn't yeah, get her out. Um, you had to call in, and who 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 came out to help you with the uh, cow? Kid. Okay. So tell us how that went down. Uh, I think she just got like fell over in the mud because I start I started slipping in the mud too. So I think she just slipped and like laid down or something. She didn't fall on her side. She was laying down. But and it's I, really it's wet really here. Wet and slip slickery slippery in the river, and so I couldn't get her out by myself. She's pretty big. She's 
eight or nine months old, I think. She's pretty big. And I couldn't get her up, so I had to call for Caden for help. And That's I frustrating, her. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I almost had her up the first time, but I couldn't fully get her. I couldn't get her front legs up in front of her. Yeah, this is one of these things that you will you will see frustration in animals. It's also as bad, and I'll tell you, when I was a kid, my grandpa fell down, and I couldn't get him up. Just trying to get him up, that was extremely frustrating and very hard to deal with. Caden, how was your week? What did you do? Um, I just moved, moved for rocks for concrete work. Um, Pebbles sandwich. Most any life bad. lessons? Anyone have anything um, life lessons? The more lessons we put out, the more people are coming to the Torah, and it's that's a yeah. Good thing to see, that's absolutely uh, that's a life lesson. The, the more we do, the harder we work on this. The more people are coming to it, and and the uh, more we're, we're the more we're blessed by Yah, but the more the devils seem to inundate us and take over our our days, and they try to prevent things like this, where we're able to sit here and and speak of the Torah. Nicole, anything? Any life lessons? Nothing. She's so shy. She just really won't talk a lot. But I, I'm lucky I got her close to the table. And um, yeah, life lessons for me. Um, like I told you guys this morning, don't let your dog in through the window because they think they can come through the window every time and I'm going to break my window. That's it. <laughs> it's for another day. All right. So let's quickly go over the commandments to date. We haven't gone over these for a while. And since it is a Shabbat, let's let's break these down. Um. And let's start at the top. It's commandment number one. Who who knows it? Right off we'll the top. Fly. Yeah, multiple beef. No, you we'll we'll missed we'll it. Pull. You missed the very first one. Ah, uh, oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Who can? Okay. Without looking at this, gentlemen. Multiply. Be fruitful is be the first fr- one. Be, multiply. multiply. What is commandment three? Replenish the earth. Got it. Okay. Replenish the earth. Who knows Subdue it? Subdue it. Okay. Eli got it. Fifth one. Have dominion over it. Have dominion. You got it. Number six. Smash sin. Nope. Anyone? Uh. Oh, man. The herb lost. bearing in every tree is for food. Okay, commandment seven. It's it's the seventh one, so it's like, it's kind of y'all's thing. It's a very important one for us. Keep the shot there. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Good try. Anyone? Seventh. Uh, Man and woman should build their own families, right? And that's that's super important because that, that goes to everything that y'all wants. And he wants families. He wants all this stuff. All right. Uh, number number eight. Master Sand. Master Sand, you got it. Hey. Okay. Nine. Anyone? Oh, man. Every cling moving thing that lives shall be food for you. Ten. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Don't, don't eat your steak rare. Get out of there, Cage. You're cheating. Don't eat the blood. Don't eat the blood. Don't, the blood. Yeah, don't drink or don't eat the blood. Walk before me and be perfect is 11. Guard Yahuwah's covenant is 12. Every male child shall be circumcised at eight days old. Number 14 is, is probably more important than everything else that we've gone over so far. What is that? Caden, you stop cheating. I can't see it. <laughs> Teach your children the commands and guard the way of Yahuwah. Pretty, Pretty close. Uh, okay, and what's here's another one that's really important. Fifteen. They're all important. They are all important, but this is, there's some that I would say are probably more important than others. Walk in the ways Yahuwah. Remember Yahuwah's name for all generations. And we had a gal that got on there and started chewing us out because she said we didn't do research. The name is God. Um, and you know, I'd say, I don't know how to explain this it's to people. English, but that, it's like, it's it's like English. mom. If I called you mom, someone mom their entire lives and their name's not mom. And he, well, here's sense. the thing is, is we all came from the, from North, from Babylon. We came out of mystery Babylon. Right. Um, and I named you Jaden, you Caden, and you're the only kind of biblical one. And down here, uh, Jaden was in the Bible. Was kind, he worked, kind, he worked kind with of, Nehemiah. It's kind like, of. Like it was, what, what, what? What version? There's no J's in Hebrew. Yeah, it's more like Yada. <laughs> so we came down to Spanish-speaking countries. What do they call you, Kate? Uh, there's a lot. I got called Caitlin a lot. <laughs> Caitlin. That sucked. Eli is Ellie down here. And, and you know, that's actually, that's, I think that's the, the priest's name was Ellie. Yeah, Ellie. I don't think it was like I don't Eli. think that's a bad thing. It's just, It might be, you might think that you're, it's a girl's name, but I don't think it is. Jade, what do they call you? Um, I'm going to Jared, Hyden, uh, Hyro. Uh, gyro, whatever they can call me. Why, why, why can't they get the J's? Because J's are pronounced like H's, so it's like ha, huh, and so there's no J. And so if there's no J's in Hebrew. There's no way our Messiah's name could be Jesus. They wouldn't have just gone off and go. Let's come up with an, another name. It's like, it's like everyone's like, oh well, you know, Juan and John. It means the same thing. It's like. Its name is Juan. His, it doesn't. It's nowhere near well, John. It may be John in Spanish, but it's you wouldn't come down and say you know it, it's not the same. I'm down here. It's, it's Jason. It's it's 
it's they can't get Jason at all. Right. Here's a wild one: is uh, Santiago and James are the same name. <laughs> See, that's not the same thing. That, that's that, what everyone says is the same in the Bible. You look up in the Bible, the Spanish Bible of James, it says Santiago, and you look up in English, it says James. Wow. So you know, names do not translate. So we absolutely must get the right name. And why would we get? Why would we use a pagan name if we actually know the name of our Creator? All right. Um, keep the feast of unleavened bread. Or commandment seventeen. Commandment 18, there's one Torah for the stranger and one for the Ebrium. Very important. I went over that on 153news.net yesterday, um, trying to explain to all my brothers and sisters there about this. Sanctify all firstborn to Yahuwah. Uh, there are no mighty ones before Yah. Do not bring Yah's name to not. Okay, commandment 22. Keep the Sabbath. I can't stay because I can see it right now. Yes, don't cheat. Don't Thank cheat. you. I'd say I'm on the side here. It's kind of hard here. <clears throat> okay, 23 is, is one of my thoughts. Uh, obey, the show, obey your parents. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Man. Honor your parents, Eli, Jade, Cade. Okay, uh, do not kill. It's 24. Do not break wedlock. Do not steal. Do not make false accusations about your, against your neighbor. Now, do we have, I mean, is are you guys, would we, that was my, my tablet making yeah. the screens out. Are you guys neighbors, yeah, gentlemen, amongst say, yourselves? Yes. 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 And so, do you guys bicker and complain and fight amongst yourselves? Sometimes, Sometimes. yes. Do you guys... <laughs> Nicole says constantly. <laughs> ah, we have honesty here at the table. We have one spoke of honesty with Nicole. Um, and so, you guys bicker, complain, and... What about false accusation? Does this uh, ever I, fall on you guys? Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes we'll accuse the person of doing something, but it was really the other person. I, I hear it all the time. You guys are, who did that? Who ate this? Who did that? Who left the who left the, the lid off the bananas? <laughs> you, can take, you can just take a guess. You'll be right. <laughs> yeah, you can probably take a guess. But, I mean, do we break this commandment? Probably. Yeah, yeah, if, if we're like, accusing, if we go, like person. accusing them, we go up to them like, you did this, you did this, and then, like, normally we ask who did it before we say uh, sometimes, yeah, we 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 you can tend to do this. Tell who did it. <laughs> it's easy to break commandments, and and you guys, it's it's super easy. That's why we got to know these. All right, do not make an altar from rock that has a metal tool t that has been touched to the rock. Did I miss that? Yeah. Uh, do not covet anything of your neighbors. Um, I guess I missed that one. Um, and I would say, do we covet anything of your guys? Do you guys covet anything amongst no, yourselves? No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think we have any, that's a problem. I'm right? not really interested in other stuff. We, we each have our own thing. Yeah, you all have your own little things you guys do. Um, do not go up to the altar by the steps. Do not oppress the fatherless or widow. Do not eat what is torn of any beast. And do no false report. Do not follow a multitude of evil. Don't judge unrighteous against the poor. Bring back your enemy's cattle if you find it going astray. No big barbecues, right? Help the animals of your enemy. Stay away from rumors and gossipers. Take no bribes. Don't oppress a stranger. Give your land rest in the seventh year. And, and again, you would have to absolutely get on the creator's calendar to, to make that one happen. Um, you might just be totally off. And it, yeah, I would imagine there's a blessing on the, on the seventh year as well if you're letting it rest. Okay, do not mention any pagan names. Um... I mean, the name of God is, is technically a pagan name. Yeah. There are lots of gods, and they all they do is they're like, well, this one has a capital G. And that G means it's the big one. G is like Greek, like Isus or Zeus, and that's pagan. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not correct, and that may make a lot of people in, un, unhappy with us. But you know, it is. You know, Acts four twelve says um, there's only one name under heaven by which man may be saved, and so if that is true, we should probably figure out the names. Uh, did I miss one? Uh, keep the feast of Yahuwah. I'm just scrolling up as I'm talking. Do not mix blood and leavened bread. Do not cook your goat in his mother's milk. Obey the messenger Yahuwah sends before you. Do not bow down to other Elohim. Serve Yahuwah. Make no covenant with other Elohim. Okay, that's it. That is what we got so far. I don't know so much if we're going to find another commandment today, but we shall begin. All right, Exodus 30. And let me get this little thing rolling. And it's... There, um, maybe bada bing. Kind of locks up a little bit. It does have some issues. It's not a very fast tablet. It's old, old like your pops. Okay, here we go. Eli, you're going to help me on this side over here, right? And make sure I am staying up to date or Nicole, either one, if you would. Exodus 30, and you shall make an altar to burn incense upon of Chittim wood, shall you make it. 
Acacia wood. Acacia wood, which it says at the top. And I, 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 I know what it says, guys. I just don't like saying it. I, I know. But a cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof. Four square shall it be, and two cubits shall be the height thereof. The horns thereof shall be of the same. So what are we talking about, guys? Uh, Make it the altar. Like an incense altar. An incense altar, which is a little bit different. And we actually had a picture yeah, of it. Yeah, it's in the order back to the gallery. I put it on the album. Um, this is the gallery. Yeah, uh -oh. go uh, it. over this way. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Right there. Oops. Okay, so this is it for everybody who can see this right here. Um, this is what we're making right here. And we're trying to get the pictures beforehand. Um, There's a high priest. Yeah, that's a high priest. There's his, his stuff, but he doesn't have his... That's not correct, is it? No, they didn't draw he's, enough. There's another line. Yeah, they had... Two, this, four, six, eight. He only has eight tribes right there. Yeah, they, did, they didn't draw enough. The artist got a little... <laughs> we're not right. focusing so, on the priest. We're focusing oh, on okay, the Oh, okay, yeah, right, right, right. So hopefully this this altar... It may not be right. correct. That's the closest we could find according to the internet, so... Yeah. I don't see any of his stone. Where's this onyx stone? I think it's his black and white. I think it's right there. I think it's the bloody dark black right there. Huh. Yeah, that's not right. Um, okay, so anyway, this is what we'll look at right here. And so this is this is kind of what we're trying to describe. All right. And we shall go back. Okay. Uh, we did two, right? And a cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof. Four square shall it be, and two cubits shall be the height thereof. The horns thereof shall be the same. And you shall overlay it with pure gold, the top thereof, and the sides thereof round about, and the horns thereof, and you shall make unto it a crown of gold round about. Okay. A rim or a molding. A rim or a molding of gold all around. Yeah, we have the rim again. Okay. And two golden rings shall you make to it under the crown of it. By the two corners thereof, upon the two sides of it shall you make it. And they shall be for places for the staves to bear it withal. And this is where the poles go. So it's like almost we're making another it's arc a tiny covenant. Arc. Yeah, it's a tiny arc that like goes around and burns incense on. Mm -hmm. I think it's for a mobile thing. Except they're moving, I don't think we're getting, we're, not well, getting, always moving. we're not quite getting the lid on it. We're not quite getting the whole like, design of the angel on top. It's just kind of a small version of it. Yeah. But it has it's, horns on like the altar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a mini one. Okay, and you shall make the staves of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. And you shall put it before the veil that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony where I will meet with you. Okay, so where, where is this at, gentlemen, in your mind? Do you guys understand where this is at? Mm -hmm. I think so. And where would you say that is, folks? It's right next to the ark of the covenant. So, so you have a tent. You have the tent. We walk in the tent. And the ark of the covenant's in the very back. Very back, and there's a veil between that. So it's like one uh, side has a menorah. One side has... You put it on the veil on the other side before you get into what's called the Holy of Holies. It's on front of that, before that veil. You, like, burn the incense there. Right. Okay. Um, seven. And Aaron shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning. When he dresses the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And again, what, is this just for the pleasure of the humans that are in there? No, no I think you know, it's for it. like... Yeah. And when Aaron lights the lamps at evening, he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before Yahuwah throughout your generations. You shall make no strange incense thereon, nor sending smoke sacrifice, nor oblation, neither shall ye pour drink offering thereon. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't burn anymore. No. And Aaron shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonements. Once a year shall he make atonement up on it throughout your generations. It is most holy unto Yahuwah. So what is he saying here? So that's the day, of, I believe, the uh, day of atonement. I think that's what you would offer on that thing. You shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonement. So how would you do that? What, what would we would be talking about here? How would you make atonement on this? I don't mean putting blood How do we make atonement horns? before? Uh, we kill it. Sacrifice. sacrifice and then did what? Put the sprinkle around. the blood on the altar. Sprinkle the blood, right? Sprinkle the blood around the people. Yeah, Remember the, on the ears and the mm -hmm. toes and to, all this stuff, right? And so I, I would imagine it was something like this, right? And so he probably sprinkled it and like I guess sanitized it with blood is is what we would be I thinking I believe. Okay, eleven. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe saying, When you take the sum of the children of Yashrael after their number. Then shall they give every man a ransom for his soul unto Yahuwah. When you number them, that there be no plague among them when you number them. Okay. It's a census. It's a census to make sure they're not dying or something. Or, or like they're not getting sick and somebody's finding out. This they shall give. Everyone that passes among them that are numbered, 
half a shekel after the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is 20 geras. A half shekel shall be the offering of Yahuwah. Okay. Everyone that passes among them that are numbered from 20 years old and above shall give an offering unto Yahuwah. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. When they give an offering unto Yahuwah to make an atonement for your souls. So the tithe is the same for everybody. Rich people don't, you know, and that's, that's the thing. The rich are always like make, wanting to throw in their, their huge shekels. And, and, you know, like uh, Messiah said, when the, the widow was putting in her tiny mites and, uh, you know, it was the tiny little stuff that she had. And he said that was more than all of those guys together because that's all she had. And you shall take the atonement money of the children of Yashrael and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of the assembly that it may be a memorial unto the children of Yashrael before Yahuwah to make an atonement for your souls. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, You shall also make a laver of brass. What did you say? A basin. A basin of brass. And his foot also of brass to wash withal. And you shall put it between the tabernacle of the assembly and the altar, and you shall put water therein. Okay, so this is, this this is, is like a, a foot washer. Yeah, it's like it's for them to cleanse themselves really well, so like their feet are dirty because... I don't think they wore, like, shoes like we have nowadays. So their feet were probably really dirty, so they just had to wash it off because God doesn't want any nastiness in his tent. Yeah, still, even, it probably need a scrub brush, too. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, it's just, you can't Nasty. just dip that stuff. Yeah, it's going to be black feet. For Aaron and his son shall wash their hands and their feet thereat. When they go into the tabernacle of the assembly, they shall wash with water that they die not. Or when they come near to the altar to minister to burn offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. It's a good thing we don't have that command here, guys, right? You guys didn't wash well or something? You, you died not? No, they not. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys pointed at Jade. <laughs> so they shall wash their hands and their feet that they die not, and it shall be a statute forever to them, even to him and to his seed throughout their generations. Moreover, Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Take also unto you principal spices of pure myrrh, 500 shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half so much, even 250 shekels, and of sweet calamus, 250 shekels. Mine's a sweet smelling cane. What are we talking about? I don't shekels of this. Are we talking... I don't understand what we're doing here. Why has no shekels? Has to go by. Moreover, Yahoo said, take also unto you principal spices of pure myrrh. Mine's a 500 of liquid myrrh. Maybe they, it's a Maybe measurement. it's just a weight. Shekels yeah, it's the sh weight. Whatever the shekel of the weight is. So he wants myrrh and cinnamon and sweet calamus. Oh, cane. Mine says cane. Sweet maybe. smelling cane. Cane like... So uh, maybe cane sugar? Maybe. Like, I don't know. I don't know what else would be cane other than the cane sugar. I don't It'll know. Smell good. And of cassia, 500 shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary and of all oil, olive, a hand. Cassia is a plant, I believe. It's not like a tree or something? It's a tree. Um, and you shall make it an oil of holy ointment, an ointment compound after the art of the apothecary. It shall be a holy anointing oil. The work of the perfumer. What is that? The art of the apothecary? The work of the perfumer. Wow. Uh, okay, so he's the perfumer guy is the apothecary. So calamus is like a plant or a root. Some kind of tree or something? Root? Root of the tree? Yeah. And you shall anoint the tabernacle of the assembly therewith. And the Ark of the Testimony. Okay, so basically they're making all this perfume, and then they are... So they are... What are they doing? The Tabernacle they're of the Assembly. The so, yeah, they're basically spraying this Do perfume all over the place. Like, <laughs> the stinky Hebrews that did not uh, bath. Wouldn't that be like, be like the, the stinky bosses? that they're burning? <laughs> What's that? Would this be like the incense that they're burning? Um, it, I don't know. It says he just, uh, you shall anoint the Tabernacle of the Assembly therewith. I'm thinking he's going to toss it on stuff. Hmm. I don't know. And the table and all his vessels, 27, and the menorah and all his vessels and all the altar of incense. So that's what he's like sprinkling on. Okay. And the altar of the ascending smoke offering with all his vessels and the laver and his foot. The laver, which is the foot basin. Mm -hmm. Okay, gets a little perfume. And you shall sanctify them that they may be most holy. Whatsoever touches them shall be holy. And you shall anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And you shall speak unto the children of Yashrael, saying, This shall be a holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations. Okay, so it's a holy anointing oil. So if you guys want to know the recipe for holy anointing oil, you just got it. Upon man's flesh shall it not be poured. 
Okay, don't put it on you. Neither shall ye make any other like it after the composition of it. It is holy, and it shall be holy unto you. Okay. But we're not allowed to make that. I know. Is that a command? I feel like that's a command. That's like, because if we made that, who knows what's going to happen? We'll die. Yeah, we shouldn't put it on the man's flesh. I mean, that is almost a command. Do not make the holy But why would perfume. we be making this if we weren't consecrating the temple, though? It must be. What if we wanted, like, this? What if we made this stuff and, like, consecrated our house? We should they probably with shouldn't. With it says file drop dead. It. Yeah, so I think this is a command. I think we. I, this is might be a strange command. It shall not be poured upon a layman's body, nor shall you make it. Do not. In its so the command would be something. Do not put the holy. What is this? The holy anointing. oil. Do not put the holy anointing oil of Yah, whatever his compound is, on humans, and don't try to make it right. Doesn't it say that. Yeah, uh, or you any shall sanctify. Composition like it. Um, okay, so we shouldn't ever do this. And you shall anoint uh, Aaron and so we consecrate them, they minister, and you shall speak unto the children. This shall be a holy anointing oil throughout all your generations. Okay. Upon a man's flesh, I know. It shall, okay, so upon a man's flesh it shall not be poured. So we will add this as a command. Uh, do not pour the holy anointing oil on man. Okay, this is... If you read 33... What's, whosoever compounds any of it, or whatsoever puts it upon any stranger, uh, shall be cut off from his people. All right, so yeah, don't. Uh, I wonder what's up with this. It's probably like only like a certain thing that a priest could do. You, I don't know. I mean, there's uh, maybe it burns the human skin or something or something, or it's like super special. Yeah, I, I don't know. Do not make it. So he gives recipe and then said, "Don't do it." Don't well, do he it. gave he gave a recipe for anointing his stuff and says, "Don't do it." But you know, somebody uh, they probably have to take like uh, something to toss it on with, right? Because if it touches you. While you're spraying it, I mean that's even going to be really hard, right? If you're it's taking like, like a it like one of those bottles you'd spray it out with, like just, they didn't have the bottles back in the days. They had something to spray out. They had a perfumer. Well, they had a. Uh, that's probably true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe they had stuff back there. I don't know. All right, um, good talk. All right, thirty-four. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, "Take unto you sweet spices, stacta and onica and galbanum. These." Sweet spices with pure frankincense of each shall be a like weight. All right, I'm going to reread that. Yeah, try that again. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Take sweet spices, fragrant gum, and cinnamon, and galbanum, and clear frankincense with these sweet spices, all in equal amounts. Yes, okay. And you shall make it a perfume, a confection after the art of the ap apothecary, the perfumer, yeah. tempered together, pure and holy. And you shall beat some of it very small, and put on it before the testimony in the tabernacle of the assembly, where I will meet with you. It shall be unto you most holy. And that is the end for me here. And for and as for the perfume which you shall make, ye shall not make it to yourselves according to the composition thereof. It shall be unto you holy for Yahuwah. Whosoever shall make like unto that to smell there too, shall even be cut off from his people. So... For anybody that actually puts on perfume, after reading this, I would probably go back and make sure your perfume doesn't have any of this stuff in it. Like, if you create this compound and you're actually spraying it on you, you are probably making Yah angry. Okay, so we have basically, like, it's 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 two, com there's two perfumes, um, and there's two commands here. It's for the perfume, when you shall make, you shall not make to yourselves according to the composition thereof. So we, we, we have two commands here. Is anyone with me? Yeah. yeah. It's two, different, two different, like, don't put either of these on you. Yeah, and this people are like, ah, oh, this is this is legalistic. Um, well, I don't think so. I think this is just legal. It's like, whatever. I mean, this might burn your skin. It might ca catch you on, like, fire or something. I don't know. I mean, it may give you a rash that you've never had. Okay, so I think that is it. I think we are actually going to end up with two odd commands, and they're, I guess they're not odd to Yah, for sure, or he wouldn't have told us not to put this on there. Um... So it is very important. Okay, well, I think that does it for this chapter. Um, anyone have anything? Uh, don't make the perfume. Don't uh, don't, don't make this perfume in this composition. That's that's the, that's special because this is the last one right here. Um, it could be like almost like strange fire to y'all, where like the, don't like do that. fire like ate them alive. It yeah, could be something like that. Don't do that. And I mean, so right here, I mean, we need to get this these ingredients in both probably this version and whatever it is in your versions so that we know what exactly it is like um stacta annika galbanium um, and pure frankincense 
um, do not make it because it, basically the recipe is right there. It tells you everything, and they, you put it in equal. Um, you put it in equal things of this one. This one says seasoned with salt and mixed. What? On thirty-five. Thirty-five. Okay, and you shall make it a perfume, a confection after the art of the apothecary, tempered together, pure and holy. And yours says what? Uh, Seasoned with salt and mixed, pure and sacred. Boy, no wonder we would get burned up. We wouldn't even know the recipe. Um, What does it say up there in 36 in the NIV? Uh, So we have grind some of it to powder and place it in front of the Ark of the Covenant. Law. In the tent of meeting where I will meet with you, it shall be most holy to you. I don't know. The command is actually on 37. Do not make any incense in this formula for yourselves. Done. Um, so that's what we need to do is we need to come up with whatever it is in this. I mean, it wouldn't be these things individually. It would be this composition of this stuff. Right, together. Together. Guaranteed the Satanists have put together this stuff and sell it to people. Guaranteed. Um, I'm sure it's out there, but... Probably not worth researching. Okay, um, anybody have anything else? Uh, have a good Shabbat. Yeah, have a great Shabbat. Uh, absolutely, have a very good Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom to everybody. Get some rest. Today's the day where you can rest, recharge. Uh. Yeah, yep, and we thank all of you guys out there. We thank everybody out there who, who comments in on this stuff and lets us know that you're actually following along and people are reading with their kids. And it's, it's, it's amazing that we are actually... Uh, having any effect whatsoever in this crazy, crazy world. And so as much as we're doing this for everyone else, we're actually doing this for ourselves because I don't know so much as there is a list that has been gone through like this that we're trying to find out there. I've never found one that has this stuff like this. And so these are two important commands, right? You would not want to do this and you would want to know this just in case you ever become a master perfumer or something, I suppose. (laughs) Okay. Um, Anyone? Eli? Uh, read your Bibles. Read your Bibles. Follow the Torah. Yep, keep the Torah. All right, guys. Much all love right. to everybody out there. All our family out there. Much love. Shalom. Shalom. And goodbye.